All right, we're gonna go over some stuff because what they don't tell you on TV, and they don't, they don't never, they don't give you any explanation on why anything's happening. And look, we have to go into this in mind that when we breathe. You take 1,200 breaths an hour, okay? And we've already established that the vehicle and the human body is the same. They designed the vehicles from us, okay? Your uh, uh, sympathetic nervous system, your vagus nerve and your pingala nerve is positive and negative, and it comes up, and it's going to go into your brain. The pingala is the pineal, and the ida is the pituitary, positive and negative. It's the same way that the terminals underneath your hood to your battery is positive and negative. Your blood is what makes you run, okay? And the air that you breathe in is what creates the blood. And when we block our ability to breathe in the guise of what? Say it. Go ahead and say it. It saves lives, man. It saves lives. I want you to write down how many times you hear that. Because you don't know any of this. Do you know that you breathe 1,200 times an hour? Did you know that? Did you know that you inhale 24,000 gallons of air every, 20, every day? They don't talk about that. So when the vehicle has an exhaust, it's got where you put oil in or gas for the fuel. Well, we've got a mouth to where we put the fuel in us, which should be the cell salts, which you're made of. If they don't teach you that, they give you this, which is not real. It's not made of you. This is cells. You have cells. This kills the cells within you. Just like how you we put the food into us to create the, the bone marrow, the oils within us, but the air we breathe in, it's what actually creates the blood within us. Okay? Why? How does it save lives? Do you know what kills lives? Sodas. Do you know that you can go get a Coke or a Pepsi and go clean the terminals on your battery in your vehicle? What do you think it's doing in the side of us? They don't talk about that on TV. So if they don't talk about how bad sodas really are, then they're not going to talk about how many breaths you take an hour. Think about it. So if you've got a mask on for four hours, that's 4,800 times that you covered your body up the way it's supposed to get rid of that poison within you because everything you eat and consume is poison. Now you've blocked the air that goes in and expands your arteries, the air carriers, and creates the blood. So now your blood's actually weakening in the guise of what? It saves lives, man. Who's saving your life, though? You continue to never drink water. You don't eat anything natural. You eat snacks, modified substances, sodas, uh, energy drinks, and all kinds of shit. And I drink coffee. I'm right there with you. But we identify it because here's the deal is if we do it all together, then we'll have more energy. And then we'll have bigger of a chance to beat Satan. But it's not going to happen, man, because it saves lives. Just do it. And it's like I'm telling you. We're going to talk about some things. Potassium phosphate, which is caliphos, is the mineral salt, cell salt that controls and gives life to the nervous system. And when you don't consume anything, I'm not talking about bananas and stuff, you need to get the cell salt, potassium phosphate, caliphos. You're not going to get it in Walmart or anything. Go to a Wicca website. You watch Disney and everything else, Satan. So Wicca is the furthest from your fucking problems. Get the cell salt and fill the brain up, which is the temple of God. This is the holy temple of God right here within you. You are an image of God. Okay, the 12 manner of fruits came out of the throne of God. That's the 12, that's your pneumogastric system, or the vagus nerve, because it branches off into the stomach, into everything else down here. Remember, let's read something. Okay, the vagus nerve, right here's the vagus nerve. It's the pneumogastric nerve, I think. But there's the vagus nerve. It comes down right here. The vagus nerve, so named because of its wandering branches, 
that go down everywhere is the greatest marvel of the human organism. Grief depresses, depresses the circulation through the vagus. A condition of malnutrition follows and the tuberculosis often of the hasty type, hasty type follows. The roots of the vagus nerve are in the medulla oblongata, which is right here, okay? And it says, at the base of the small brain or cerebellum, which is right there, and explains why death follows the serving, severing of the medulla. It controls the heart action. And if a drug such as aconite or whatever be administered, even in small doses, its effect upon this nerve is shown in slowing the action of the heart and decreasing the blood pressure. In larger doses, it paralyzes the ends of the vagus in the heart so that the pulse becomes suddenly very rapid and at the same time irregular. And we have that with the foods that we consume, the coffees and everything, and the medications. So we're killing ourselves is what we're saying, Matt. No, it's safe lives. Oh, God. It's like, listen, the only way that's going to save your lives is listening to this shit. And it says, branches of the vagus nerve reach the heart, lungs, stomach, liver, and kidneys. Worry brings on kidney disease, but it is the vagus nerve and especially that branch running to the kidneys which undo excitement or worry or strain brings about the paralysis of the kidneys and the performance of their functions. The nerves, the, let me see. No, we're not going to that route. <laughs> but here, all the blood in the body passes through the heart every three minutes, and during 70 years, it lifts up 270 million tons of blood. The lungs contain about one gallon of air at their usual degree, degree of inflation. We breathe, on average, 1,200 breaths per hour, inhale 600 gallons or 24,000 gallons daily. Is that not crazy? So what they don't tell you is, is that even in breathing four hours each day that you cover up, that's 4,800 breaths that you're covering up your exhaust out there on your vehicle. And remember, cover up that exhaust partially, it's not going to happen the same day like something's going to happen, but cutting that natural flow of exhaust out is eventually going to mess with the motor, which is the cerebral, or the transmission, which is the cerebellum. And it's going to start to mess with the other parts or the organs of the mechanism, which is the machine, which you are a machine, and then eventually the body shuts down and becomes deficient of the cell salts and mineral salts and dies because it's been malnourished for its whole life. But we have to save lives, Matt. You're insane. Okay? And the aggregate surface of the air cells of the lungs exceeds 20,000 square inches, an, air, an area nearly equal to that of a room 12 feet square. The average weight of the brain of an adult is three pounds, eight ounces. The average female, two pounds, four ounces. The convolutions of a woman's brain cells and tissues are finer and more delicate in fiber and mechanism, which evidently accounts for the intuition of women. It would appear that the difference in the convolutions and, and finest fineness of tissue and brain matter is responsible for the degrees of consciousness called reason and intuition. The nerves are all connected with the brain directly or by the spinal marrow, marrow, but nerves receive their sustenance from the blood and their motive power from the solar plexus. The nerves together with the branches and minute ramifications probably exceed 10 millions in number forming a bodyguard outnumbering the mightiest army ever marshaled. Okay? Hang on. There is, not a no, there is not known in all the realms of architecture or mechanics one little device which is not found in the human organism. The pulley, the lever, the inclined plane, the hinge, the universal joint, tubes and trap doors, the scissors, grindstone, whip, arch, girders, filters, valves, bellows, pump, camera, uh, allion, heart, irrigation plant, telegraph, and telephone systems, all these and hundred other devices which man thinks he invented, but which have only been telegraphed to the brain from the solar plexus and crudely copied or manifested on the objective canvas. So everything that you see in society comes from us. Matt, it saves lives. You don't know yourself. I do. 
I don't have to let somebody tell me that don't know how to take care of themselves, the fake experts. If they're more pathetic than me, why should I fucking listen to them? Why? Are you insane? Yes, you are. Let's continue on. No arch ever made by man is as perfect as the arch formed by the upper ends of the two legs and the pelvis to support the weight of the trunk. No palace or cathedral ever built has been provided with such a perfect system of arches and girders. That's exactly right. Okay, the fats, albumin, fibrin, etc. that compose the organic part of food are burned up in the process of digestion and transposed into energy or force to run the human battery. Your battery. Blood is made from the air. Hmm. And what are we doing? We're best saved love, my God almighty. Doesn't matter if you're inside or wherever. You are fucking killing yourself. And this is what you'll do, Christians. That TV's not... Yes, it is. It's Satan. Y'all pray for this, some of you. You're getting... You're covering up, God. You're in a slave world. You just don't know. it. You're doing, oh, God, why have the TV's in my head? Yeah, drinking's a choice, right? Well, so is TV, and it's Satan. You can either be a fucking man and get out of it and prove me wrong... But it's nothing about me. It's you and your fucking prideful Job behavior that you have from the Bible. You have the same pride Job has had. I, dude, I get it from pastors and preachers that stand next to me. They won't listen. What does it say in there in the Bible that says, just because you're a preacher or pastor, you're fucking better than me. And that all people should suck you off because you're in that position. Sounds like Satan to me. Because it is. Okay, <laughs> back to this right here. And it says, uh, I get fired up. Blood is made from air. Thus, all nations that dwell on earth are of one blood. Your nations are your organs. For all breathe one air. The best food is the food that burns up the quickest and easiest. That is, the least friction in the human furnace. This is a furnace. So what we put in there is going to fucking... It's, it's going to break it down, but if it's shit substances, then it gets into our uh, liquids in our blood and circulatory system, the water within us, and then it goes into our brain, and that's what runs around in our temple. It's shit substances, and then it's this, and man, oh God, you're crazy. I can make a half a million dollars a year. Look at me. You're stupid. Yeah, yeah. It's like, you're insane. Okay, and it says the sexual functions... No, we're not going to get into that. Hang on, I wanted to talk about something. It says, while it is true that flesh is made by precipitation of blood, it is not true that blood is made from food. The inorganic or cell salts contained in food are set free by the process of combustion or digestion and carried into the circulation through the delicate absorbent tubes of the mucous membrane of stomach and intestines. Air breathed into the lungs enters the arteries, the air carriers, and chemically unites with the mineral base and by a wonderful transformation creates flesh, bone, hair, nails, and all the fluids of the body. Okay, on the rock of the mineral salts is the human structure built, and the grave or the stomach or hell shall not prevail against it. The minerals in the body do not disintegrate or rot in the grave. Let me read this again. The fats, albumin, etc. compose the organic part of food and are burned up in the process of digestion and transposed into energy or force to run the human battery. Blood is made from the air. Thus, all nations that dwell on earth are in one blood. Okay? Now, what we're going to do is this. Damn. <laughs> I don't like putting... What I'm going to do is do a part two. Since we've read that, we're going to go, each one of these is like a system of the body, okay? And what we have to do is, it, the insanity is, is for people to sit there and say, please tell me TV. And for people to say that I'm stupid and crazy for knowing my body? When you're sitting there obese, taking pills, fucking worshiping the world, watching TV, man, it's real safe. It's all you hear. You're in a matrix. 
You can't get out of it. It's fucking concrete, man. Ah, damn. He is crazy. Get out of it. Get out of it. Can you stop doing selfish fucking living for one goddamn week? I bet you can't. Your money's not real. This is the money. The, my blood's running. That's why we see shit. It's because we're out of the poisonous Satan world. You're crazy! You saved lives, man! You have had it! You've killed people! It's like, fuck! Dude, this is God to everybody. That's God. Okay? Since radio and newspapers and TV, we've been the dumbest fucking bunch of people for a long time. And I'm asking you to get out of your fucking asshole and to read and to know your body. It's fucking lies! 1,200 times an hour, you fucking clog yourself. Those of you against me and that are fucking full throttle obeying your career. See, Satan gave you the big careers and the fake money. So at this point in time, it's real, man. Look at how it works. It's like, it's not real. The hospitals were designed off of you not knowing your body and not knowing your cell salts. And when you eradicate all the cell salts and you don't know your fucking body, whatever's on TV, man, woo, it saves love because my brain has been under the influence of stupidity my whole life. Yeah, I've never fucking read nothing or done nothing. And that's where y'all are. Thank God that he made me an alcoholic. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Because there's so many millions of people that are going to burn and perish. All because of my own TV saves. Satan is concrete in your subconscious. Okay? Go up to your pastor if you have one of those around your church and say, I know that's a flat fucking earth symbol. You Satanist. Tell them Matt Child said so. And tell them we're coming. And we're going to burn the whole motherfucker down. And we're going to have people living for a long time after about 50 years. It's going to take 100 years for us to come out of what we have been forced into. Okay, your society is obese, cancer, sex, fucking pills, drugs, blame, racism. And that's what y'all want to keep. That government that's up there right now is Satan. It is Satan. And they have their black and white minions out there. Matt, look at them. It's like the sports is the slave trade. Sorry, you dummies. Can't put it together. Where'd all the money go? Where'd the money go? Where'd all the slave money go for 400 years? Uh, it's stupid. Just white people had slaves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We got a problem because you, you can't fucking think. You're a dummy. Whatever they say on here, man, it's still here. It's real. It's because you feel this. This is Jesus, Matt. And that's where Christians are. Part two coming up here in just a second. I love you.